Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me today in Be Castled as we continue to expand our little kingdom here. If you haven't checked out the previous video, please go back and check it out where we started up here on top of this nice little hill. We survived the first three days and now we are on day four and we're getting ready to fight off uh, some more moon people. So we're going to move our archers over here to that tower. Uh, I also went ahead and purchased this plot over there. Our swordsmen, we're going to chase a wolf down, but let's go ahead and bring them there. And we're training up a couple more archers. So now we should have a full nine archers for the tower. So let's grab these guys and we'll put them up there as well. So they should start to move over there. Other things we're going to try and do in this episode. I would like to go ahead and start building some walls along here. So we'll go ahead and go military and wooden wall. And let's plop that down right there. So our builders can start to build that for us. We should also think about maybe maybe we should buy this plot and then go ahead and wall these two sections off. So let's see, 200 wood. Um, yeah, we can go ahead and capture that. And then let's go ahead and put a wooden wall, 600 there, 450 there. So we need 1,050 wood. So I don't know if we'll have enough before this next attack. What do we got? Four minutes and 45 seconds to the next attack. So let's just go ahead and position our swordsmen here in front of the door to protect our archers from any of the moon people that try to flank us. So we'll put them right there. Perfect. Um, we may just capture these two tiles and the wall off there. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how things go. I'd eventually like to get this stone pile here too. That's 240 wood. We could get that and get that going here soon as well. All right. We got this wooden wall just about done. Our builder right there is doing a fantastic job. Perfect. We might need to, or I shouldn't say might, eventually we'll want to put a gate in here as well. But he's got that walled off for us. We've got 418 wood. This is what, 450? So we're not quite ready for that. That's okay. Our hunters are out here grabbing some boar. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and put down a market stall. Because we need that extra happiness and sunstone production. So let's spin. And we'll go ahead and start lining our markets up back here. Spin that just a little bit that way. And we'll put our market stall right there. Good. And we will also go ahead and put down another house. And this is going to kind of be our housing area. So let's spin this. And we'll drop a house there. Perfect. So that's going to be a little disorganized over there. But that's okay. Maybe once we get going, we can tear some of those houses down and reorganize this area as we progress. So we got the market stall going up and then we'll build the house. So we should be in pretty good shape there. The thing that concerns me is one, they're spawning so close. So they, they'll be right on top of us and that really won't give our archers a lot of time to do a lot of attacking. Let's make sure we got a guy stuck down there. Let's make sure we got all nine up on tippy top. There we go. All nine archers, they're doing a little shimmy up there. I don't know what they're doing. Now they're trying to go down. No, I want you guys up here. There we go. Now we got all nine up there. Perfect. So a full complement of archers to protect this uh, flank over here. We've got 360 wood. Got the market stall up. We got the house up. So let's go ahead and assign a worker so he can start to sell those boar leathers. Our hunters are grabbing oh and we have caviar so we could actually build a second market stall because we're getting caviar from the fishing hut so let's go ahead and plop down another market stall we'll spin that and let's put that right next to it right there perfect so we'll build that and then we will have an additional little um sunstone and happiness coming from those market stalls so now that they're stacked next to each other you get a 10 percent bonus so it went from 70 to 77 sunstone and one mood to 1.1 mood. So that is the benefits of putting your market stalls next to each other. I think the next thing, once this gets built, is probably building a builder's guild, maybe like right here, just so we always have builders on standby. So let's go ahead and put our builder's guild right there, and that will be built, and then we can at least assign one person to it. And then actually let's go ahead and assign one worker to that stall so he can start to 
sell the caviar, and then this gentleman here, or this per son person here, will be assigned to the Builders Guild, and then we'll have him build another house here shortly. So let's go ahead and spin that, and there we go. We'll put another house down there. How are we doing on food? Ooh, we are losing 30 food a minute. So um, actually, let's cancel this house because we're going to need to make sure we have plenty of food here soon. Um, do we have a food tile nearby? Got boars there. We could capture this, but it is pretty exposed. We could put a farm there. Anything over here? We got fish. Maybe we do stone next to ensure then we can start upgrading some of this. Like we could put three. Do we have our full fisherman complement? Let me check here. No, we have no one in the fishing hut. Okay. So actually, let's go ahead and assign someone to the fisher's hut. Actually, no, let's unassign him, build the house, and then that'll give us plenty of people to get fishing there. So let's go ahead and build that house, and then we will get people in that fishing hut. The attack is coming in seven seconds. So here we go. It is almost nightfall. Make sure we have a full complement in the hunter's hut. Good. All right. So here comes the attack. The crystal gets smashed. Ooh, there's a lot of people there. And they have archers up there, so hopefully our archers can pick off some of these people before they do a lot of damage. We already lost one person, but we are knocking out quite a few of their people. So that is good. We've lost, what, four archers so far? Four of our nine. So let's go ahead and get ready to charge this line of archers with our swordsmen. So they turn that corner, and they will go attack seven archers down, so that means there's two left. Hopefully our swordsmen get there in time to start knocking out some of these archers. All right, so I think we're going to survive, but we are going to lose a lot of our people. And they just need to keep attacking here. So we've lost eight people so far. Quite a few people lost, but we survived the night and move on to day five. So let's go ahead and reposition our swordsmen there. Let's see where this next attack is coming from. Down there, all right, I can live with that. So we'll grab these two archers and definitely move them over here. We will bring our swordsmen, let's grab them, and we will have them positioned over here at the side of the wall. We've got that other house built. Let's get our fishermen going so we're not losing a lot of food. Or it's almost built, excuse me, now it's built, there we go. So now we can go ahead and start recruiting up some archers. So we need to go ahead and at least recruit seven, five, six, seven, uh, to ensure we have a full tower to uh, protect us from this spawn over here. Good news is, not only will they have to go all the way around our walls, but they'll have to pass our archers here and pass through these wolves. So it might not hurt, or I shouldn't say it might not. Let's go ahead, since we have the wood, and wall off here. And then we'll wall off here when we have enough wood as well. All right, so those archers are training. Good for us. So let's grab this guy and move him up there. I wish it would just go ahead and jump to daylight. There it goes. So we can see what we're doing a little bit better. But at least we survived this attack. I think, well, we'll probably go ahead and just wall this section off just to be safe. And then make sure we have additional archers on that wall if we ever have an attack come from that way. Luckily, or I shouldn't say luckily, not yet. We haven't had anyone come from over here and up this little hill. So I've been able to leave that undefended, but I would imagine soon enough that will come. All right, so we're going to have three archers here ready to move up to the top of the tower. So that will be six archers total. One, two, three. We'll move those guys up there. We've still got our four swordsmen. And I think they heal each day. Yeah, so they are healing, so that's good. Waiting for a builder to come over there, but we'll have to wait for the archers to finish training. 197 wood. So we're almost uh, got enough wood to put this next wall in there. What was it? Wood wall, 600. Okay, so we're uh, about a third of the way there. Cancel that out. We've got our two fishers. How are we doing on food? So we are making 40 food a minute. So now we're not losing any food. So that's good. And I think these other three archers are done training. Yep. So let's go ahead and move these three up there. We'll plop them down. I want to go ahead and assign someone to the Builders Guild here in a second. 
So these two guys are going to build plus we okay so we got three people so what we're going to do is definitely assign one to the builders guild or maybe two yeah let's go ahead and assign two of them to the builders guild and it's not letting me do that that's okay well they'll finish building that wall for us because that's yep one two three and i think maybe we should go ahead and put another tower right here on the corner yeah let's go ahead and put a tower there on the corner and we will go ahead and start training up another nine archers Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, good. So that will start to train up another nine archers we can put there. And they built that section of wall, and eventually we'll want to go ahead and wall this off as well. And that will at least have us pretty well protected on this side of the map. Hopefully we also get enough lumber here in the next turns to wall this part off. And then we can get the stone and wall there, and then start kind of focusing and making sure we fortify this area as these attacks get bigger and bigger all right so that next tower is built that is good so now if this attack spawns here they have to go by this tower and this tower through the wolves and all the way around before they can even reach us now they might have siege weapons we're kind of getting was this day five we're getting close to them having siege weapons so we will see what happens so we've got one builder assigned, so that's good. We'll always at least have one person ready to build for us. We're going to go ahead and start training some more people. Since we got plenty of food, let's go ahead and put down another house. And let's spin this like that, and we'll put that right... Well, I guess let's actually do this. Spin this a little bit. Oops, wrong way. We'll go all the way around, and we'll plop the house down right there. Leave a little bit of room so they can navigate. Our soldiers can navigate back there fantastic fantastic indeed as always down below in the comments let me know if you're playing a castle and be castled how it's going you know what you you like about the game what you don't like about the game something you might have a question on maybe we can work on that question together i have certainly learned a lot this is now my one two third castle uh you know the first two were definitely learning experiences uh now, and now i'm kind of getting the hang of it learning the mechanics and learning how to attack and defend and Make sure you make your kill boxes. Like now, this is kind of a kill box down here between the two towers and the wolves. Any of the moon people traveling through here will have to take a lot of damage before they even get close to us. So we got four, four of the archers up and ready. So let's go ahead and get them up there. We are a minute and 59 out from the attack. So we're doing good there. Still producing 40 food a minute. You like to see that. We got 227, and what was this? Was this 650 wood to wall this off? 600 wood, okay. So we will wait and hang off on that for a few seconds. Lumberjacks are lumberjacking away. We might put down another lumber hut here soon, which will kind of double our wood production. Or we could capture this and start getting stone. So we'll have to see what we want to do. All right, a couple more archers are almost ready. That's good. It might not hurt to also get, go to military here, probably get the barracks down so at least we can start getting some swordsmen. And I haven't seen any of the other infantry, what units you can get, so I'd like to see that. Siege workshop, that's still a little bit away. We'll definitely need stone before we start doing that. How are we doing? We're still producing 156 a minute. So we're good on money, it seems. I think this is going to be our last archer to train up. All right, so let's go ahead and send this group to the top of this tower. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. I think there should be one more archer. Yeah, he should be getting up here any second. Let's make sure he does. There we go. Nope, I want you to go up there, bud. There he goes. All right, so that gives us a full complement, or two towers full of archers. With 17 seconds until the next attack, I'm going to go ahead and start queuing up another nine archers. Seven, eight, nine. Uh, I don't know if the, none of them will probably get trained in time. Looks like we only can trade two at a time. If we had stone, we could uh, be training three at a time. But that will be till the next night. And here comes our night five attack. I see a troll. I see a catapult. Two trolls, a catapult, and some moon knights. Our archers are going to start raining arrows down upon them. I'm actually going to slow down time just a little bit. And I want to select my archers and I want them to target the catapult actually. Because that is the thing that's going to be able to attack us first. I see 
Do they have some archers? I don't see any archers, so that's good. That trolls down. That catapult looks like it's lining up to start to attack. There it goes. Here comes that ball of stone, I'm assuming. Let's see. It hits the tower. Don't think it killed any of our people, but they might have gotten hurt. Uh, yeah, they took some damage. That's okay. That catapult's taking a lot of damage. Another big catapult attack. The wolves are getting in there with the trolls. All right, and the catapult is destroyed, so now I'm feeling a lot better. So we'll turn this back to full speed. So now our archers just have to pick the people off. We didn't lose anyone there, so that is good. The other tower is starting to attack as well. And I think we should be fine. The troll knocks out one of the wolves. But now they're getting attacked by both towers, so they should start to fall very quickly. And the wolves are helping us out immensely as well. And just one troll versus the wolves and our archers. And he goes down. And we survive night number five. And perfect. The next attack is going to be coming from there. So we will ensure we wall this off. Probably get some archers up on the wall as well. We do have negative one mood. So I know we're talking about a tavern. Um, so let's go ahead and plop a tavern down. And we can plop that. Um, yeah, let's see if we can get our tavern right here near the markets. And we'll put our tavern right there. Perfect. So we'll get, um, we'll have to assign people to it, but we can get a plus 10 uh, mood bonus from that. All right, so these archers are finishing training, and I'm thinking, I don't know, where do I want to put, the, do I want to put a tower or put them on the wall, or what do I want to do? I, I don't know. We'll see. If they're going to spawn there, my guess is, I mean, they're going to, oh, we got two spawn points. Okay. Interesting. Interesting indeed. So maybe we put a tower here on the corner? Yeah, let's do that. Let's go military and tower. And we're going to put a tower right... Do we have a basement door? Okay, yep, let's put a tower right there. And we'll put another nine archers in that tower as well. We are running low on sunstone. We only got 96 a minute. So we need to start thinking about what our next move is. We've got... How many do we got here? Five. So let's... Well, we'll hold off and wait for that tower to be complete. Um, I want to get a worker in the tavern here, so we get at least plus five to our mood. So let's grab, there's six, he's seven, so I have nine queued up. Our builder's over here building that tower, very nice. Tavern is up. Are we losing people? 12 out of 15 on the population. No, it's probably from the, them being trained as archers. So that means he's one of two, right? So seven. Yeah, so we got two more to train. Tower is almost built and it is complete. Fantastic. So we'll definitely put our other nine here. And they might be able to reach both spawn points. I don't know. Definitely be able to hit this one. And they're way up there. They're at least one, two, two levels up plus the tower's height. So that will be a great advantage. I don't know, maybe there are the archers, if there's any archers can reach us from there. We'll have to see. All right, I think the next thing we get, once we hit 600 wood, we'll wall this section off, just so these guys, if they do come, they're gonna have to attack their way through it. All right, let's see what we got. Nine archers here. So let's go ahead and get those nine up there. Fantastic. They will start to move there. 600 or 565 wood. I think we'll have 600 once these two Lumberjacks make it back, 589. How much time do we got left? We got 438, so we should have ample time to build the wall. So let's go ahead and plop that wall down there, make sure it's facing the right way. All right, so we will get that next section of wall and that will give us a little, or a well-protected, excuse me, well-protected flank over here and we'll probably put another tower on this corner and that will Give us pretty good protection. Oops, we are running out of mood. Let's go ahead and assign someone to work the tavern. All right, so we are full on resources. I don't don't know what's full. Barns are full. Build additional barns. Is it the food? Yeah, our food's just about at its cap. So let's see. Let's go look at general barn uh, stored for... Um, okay, so for 150 wood, we might put down another barn here in a second. 
but we will see. All right, that part of the wall is done. Let's make sure, let's go ahead and add another person to the tavern. So that will give a plus 10 bonus to Mood once they both get there. A total of plus 10, plus 9 overall now. There we go, and that last section of wall will be built. We now have 150. Um, oh, the barns are pretty small. Let's, yeah, we can go ahead and build a little barn here. Let's just plug it right next to the... Uh, spin this around here like that, and we will put that right next to the little fisher's hut. Let's get that tucked right in there. Perfect. So that will be built and give us a little more food storage. Okay, this whole area is now walled off, so that makes me feel a lot better. Um, 56 sunstone, so we are starting to run low on money just a little bit. Uh, I don't know what each archer costs. So I'm not going to train too many more. Let's go ahead. Let's just train one. And if it's 56, then we'll see what one archer costs to maintain. But I feel a lot better. We got at least three full towers of archers to help protect our little kingdom here. This guy's about done being trained. And there he goes. It still hasn't updated yet. Let's see what that does. Our food storage is up, so now we can store... Um, oh, I built a warehouse, not a barn. Um, well, at least we got more wood storage now. So it looks like each storage source can add 500 to storage. So we've got 1,500 in wood and 15... Oh, maybe 150 in stone. All right, so each archer is 10. So we can go ahead and train... Four more, and that'll give us five archers. Three, four. There we go. And let's put them. Let's put them over here, so he can start making that walk. And we'll just drop him right there. We've got a minute thirty-five to the next attack, so that will be here shortly. Two hundred and seventy wood. I'm thinking two forty, two forty. If we tear this tower. We might just leave this tower, capture these territories, and then wall this off. And hopefully our next turn, or next day, day seven. God, this castle is going to be a week old very soon. All right, so these guys are ready to move over to the wall here. And we will send them over there to join their friend. And this will be our fourth and last archer we can train up, I think. Or we got two more. Okay. So him and another friend. We'll probably, or not probably, we'll definitely need to capture this tile so we can get another sunstone workshop. And then just to make things even, we'll capture this and then wall this off to protect this flank. But we will save up the wood because this will be 240 plus probably 260. So you're looking at 3 plus 2, 500 wood just for that. And then 1, 2, 3 sections of wall. I'm guessing 6, 6, and 4. So probably like 1600 wood or so. To wall that off plus towers along there as well I mean we'll be able to tear this one down but this one will definitely need probably a tower here a tower here at least and then eventually we'll put you know towers on the corners as well all right these two archers are done training we will send them over here to join their friends so that will give us quite a few archers to protect from this next spawn Six sunstone a minute, and here is the next attack. I see a battering ram spawning. Uh, they've got some troops, some axemen spawning down here. And they are they going to try and go around? Nope. Okay, our archers took them out. Um, another battering ram spawning in. Three battering rams spawning in. Uh, luckily, no archers being seen yet. So that's good news for us. They're going to plow through those trees. I was hoping some of them would go this way, but my guess is they're going to try and flank around this way. So let's go ahead and start to reposition our swordsmen, just in case. I'm thinking they will be attacked the entire time, as they definitely move. So I don't know, but I don't know how far this way they'll be able to reach. But we will take out quite a few of them. Looks like there's a couple guys still. Is there anyone even pushing this? No, it's just rolling. Okay. All right, so the archers are doing a lot of damage to these people as they pass. These archers are taking some damage. Let's go ahead and target those archers because they are shooting at us. And there those archers go, so they won't be firing at us anymore. 
All right, they did have a few people make it around the flank, um, but we will have our swordsmen here ready for them, and by the time they get up here, these towers will be able to retarget them. So these siege weapons are taking quite a bit of damage. That one lost all of its pushers, so that one won't be a threat anymore. I see the first people rounding the corner. They're making their way up the hill, but that's okay. Archers are still picking off. They might be able to destroy this siege weapons. What's it got? 150, 100 health, 90 health. That one's almost gone. 50 health, 40 health. All right, so that one collapsed. This Axeman is going to, yep, he is gone. Fantastic. Make sure no one's going the long way around. Nope, okay, so we're good there. All right, now we just got to wait for these guys to round the corner so this one's got three plus the siege weapon itself the troll who's lost quite eh, a fair amount of health and then this ram's only got 10 health left i don't see anyone pushing it is there anyone pushing it eh, he might be in the wall but anyways that's going to roll our way we should be able to finish all these people off once they get up and back into the range of our archers so we uh survived another night and the castle will be a week old so let's just uh, wait here as they take their sweet time. I wonder if it might be better to capture these two tiles and wall it off here. I don't know. We'll see. We will see what we decide to do. All right. They are almost in range of our towers. Any second now, I would imagine. They are kind of coming up on this far right side. So let's bring our swordsmen over here just a little bit to make sure they can't get anywhere near the sunstone workshop. We might just, let's go ahead and charge and have them start attacking these people. Archers are firing in, so that's good. Down goes the first guy. Our troll, oops, okay, let's get these guys out of the way of the troll. Yeah, I don't want these guys losing to the troll here. All right, archers are doing that. Our sunstone workshop is taking quite a bit of damage, but I think our archers should beat it. 310 health. Nope, they destroyed our sunstone workshop. Those dastardly people. We will have to rebuild that. That's okay. Lost a knight here. Did that heal? I think that healed after it destroyed that building. Interesting. Um, so hopefully we destroy it before the next building it attacks. It is taking quite a bit of damage. It should be in range of our two towers. So let's send our send our swordsman to do that. And oh, it leveled up. That's why it healed. So we lost our woodworking shop, or our sawmill, and our sunstone workshop. So we'll have to make sure we build both of those immediately. But we survived the night on to day seven. So thank you so much for joining me in B Castle. Don't forget to like the video, comment down below again, both on audio quality, video quality, and my commentary, because that is how I grow as a YouTuber. And lastly, please, please, please do not forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I will see you in the next B Castle video.